Hello guys, this is Mainak and today we will show you how to design an eccentric footing in RCDC. So this was originally a comment from one of my viewers uh, that he wanted to see the eccentric design in RCDC. So I'll make this video especially for him. So uh, now uh, just uh, you you have the all the normal settings. You design the footings. Uh, you get this type of design. Okay. So uh, I just save this file and I'll just name this as three and I'll just open it and show you. Uh, what a normal footing uh, designed in RCDC looks like. So I'll open three, okay, and uh, uh, I'll just uh, use a little bit of trick because RCDC have to put those for, uh, settings and all. Just to let's focus on this particular uh, column C7. So uh, let's take the dimensions here, okay, and this dimension also. I'll just match property with the set dimension I'll show you okay so you can see this is 515 from both ends so similarly from this end so, uh, this is x, uh, x in rcdc in this direction okay uh, from left to right this is x in rcdc and uh, if you want to go uh, in the y direction also you will find the same distance just take the dimensions and I'll... so you'll find the same distance here which is 550 so in x and y you find the same direction here uh, square footings are designed and uh, same footing but what if you have a building uh, you know plot boundary like this suppose the plot, plot boundary is like this and you want to give some offset so uh, uh, plot boundary is like this and you want to offset this by uh, a certain amount of factor so what is this suppose this is 218 okay minimum we have to go like a little bit more 300 we have to go then we need our CDC works so let's let this be uh, 300 C or let's take C 300. So let's take 300. So 300 mm the footing has to be like this little bit. Uh, it has to move little bit like this. So what can we do? How can I design the footings and recheck the uh, size? So for that RCDC has a feature. So simply open the RCDC. I'll unlock the previous design and uh, you can see in the settings option. Okay. Uh, you can uh, consider overburden or not consider overburden is your choice. But the uh, thing we are going for is set plan units so just select the column which you are going for c7 now you can observe in c7 uh, here we want to move this from this direction so if you want to move this from this direction then we go negative sign if you want to move this from this direction then you go positive sign okay means you want to uh, you know do for this particular footing you want to move this uh, like this from this side there will be a positive in the x direction and if you want to move this in from this to uh, this side it will be negative in the x direction so, like this rcdc sign convention works okay simply let me show you uh, give an offset of 300 okay so let us give an offset of uh, minus 3 300 okay and then click on okay and then uh, just okay and design redesign the uh, footing so you can see the size has increased because obviously this is eccentric the so size has increased so i'll just save this file and just show you and just to check here okay to give a name right four okay just to check four mm, and i'll open the four and you'll see that okay just i put the dimension i've copied this you'll see that this is this dimension and uh, this dimension i don't know why it will be the same okay so the offset will be taken from the column right okay and just use this and okay. match property this this and this so you can see well on the y direction it is the same but on the x it has a offset of 300 so when you design by offset you need to have this offset 300 in this direction and 2050 in this direction so what if we want to do for this particular column we can also do so let's uh, do suppose let's move this uh, in in this in this direction by let's say 400 mm okay we want this this distance from this column to this to 400 mm so how can i do that so you can do that also here we'll just simply unlock the design and uh, what is the color node c9 right so unlock the design first and then we'll go to settings and sorry settings general settings and set plan limit set c9 and uh, let's go how much did i told 400 right 400 or 300 Okay, let's do uh, 350. For what how much I do? Well, let's take 300 only. 300 and click on OK and then click on uh, OK 
and then uh, redesign this okay, you can see this size has also changed like this similarly you can do in the y uh, positive y and uh, negative y direction as well so let's see if uh, what uh, what happens if you just make this particular footing eccentric in two direction y direction also 300 in y direction also so go to uh, first of all unlock the model and then i uh, go to settings go to general settings and uh, set okay and this this will do positive in this direction as well okay and okay and then design so you can see the size has increased so basically this will not be possible we have to give a combined footing uh, design a combined footing here but you can see the what i have told you give positive in the y direction so it will it will take uh, in this direction if you give negative then it will take from this direction like this so i'm just uh, doing this again this will obviously not be possible as for the design this is also uh, a thing general settings uh, set and just this one for just for showing so i'll just set to uh, let's say 500 okay i want it to be good i think okay okay you set 500 also since this is two asymptotes uh, you know is eccentric in two direction we have to provide uh, you know other type of footing so this won't be uh, you know possible here okay so just let me just uh, do uh, something else okay just uh, this one do this zero and uh, let the, this one the, this the particular footing let's do this zero and minus 300 this time okay in the y direction okay and we'll design so if you do minus 300 you can see it goes uh, it takes from this this side if you take plus 300 it will take from this side so if you take plus 300 it will take from top if you take minus 300 you take the distance from bottom and in the x x case if you take minus minus uh, you know 300 or minus any negative any distance it will take from the left side and if you take plus uh, anything it will take from the right side so like this you can design the eccentric footings uh, in uh, rcdc obviously it has some limitations because the, otherwise the, the this type of footing will not be possible you have to design mat or you have to design strip footing or if that is not possible here you have to design that in safe uh, csi safe or you can design in stat foundation and first so how do you find the video thanks for watching bye bye